what's up everybody this is sumit and in today's video i'm going to show you how to use database in your android phone while using something while making some projects so let's move ahead so we have one database which works on android so that is a sqlite 3 and i'm going to show you one example here so firstly i'm creating a folder that is sqlite and now save it and then I'm going to save this file inside that folder. Let's save as sqlite.py. And then I'm going to run it. And you can see we have successfully imported it. And now I will show you an example. So to create a database, we know we have to make a connection to our database. So let's create a database that is db is equals to sqlite three dot connect, and then we have to give the name of the database. So let's I'm going to give here. Um, you can give it anything. I'm going to give here temp dot db. The extension is compulsory. So let's make a cursor. Okay, it's running, and you can see here we have successfully created a data base. And then I'm going to create a cursor. So let's uh, take a object cur and then db dot cursor. Okay. So let me do something more. So I'm going to uh, execute a command that is a SQL command or a SQL command. And inside the code, I'm going to create a table inside code. So let's say create table. Let's say student, and then we have to give a parameter, or can we say the headings? That's a name that it will be bear care, and then we have to give the number of characters that is a maximum character, and then let's say student id student underscore id and it also we are bear care so let's say 33 and then i'm going to give a roll number here so it will be in int let we have to commit it but before this i'm going to cut dot as execute and i'm going to show you here how can we fetch the date data from the table so let's select hashtag from student and we know that there is nothing inside a student but I'm going to uh, I'm I'm just showing you how to fetch the data. So let's say result is equals to cur dot fetch all. I'm just giving a simple example here. If you want something more on it, please comment. I will make one more video on it, and I will in that video I will show you all of about how to use and uh, how to use different commands and something more so to phase to print uh, the result we have to mm, run a for loop and then we, after the after that we have to commit it and then we have to close that so the work is done 
and now you can see here we have successfully created it but there is no nothing inside a result so we have to insert the data so let's say cut or execute and inside this we have to insert the data inside our student table so let's say cut dot execute and then insert into student and then we have to give the values here let's values the first one is where care so we have to give inside the code but here we have I'm going to use double quotes here because I have already used single quotes and the student ID is also in where care so I have to give it in inside the quotes and the roll number is will be 001 and now I'm going to run it and here you can see table student already exists because we have already run this and I'm going to remove this part so it will not create the table and then it, it will directly insert the data so I'm going to run this and as you can see here we have successfully done that and now if we will do the next time then it will insert the same data in the next line so that's enough for this video if you have any doubt please comment and don't forget to subscribe like and share so thank you for watching